मैं शालिकी खान असिस्टेंट हेड ई लर्निंग एंड असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट के आई टी ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्कोप एंड अपॉर्चुनिटीज वेन यू आर इन ईसी द स्कोप एंड अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर अ ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट हुज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग ग्रेजुएट we are going to see the various scopes and opportunities in the private sector the various mncs in the government sectors and apart from this we are going to see the scope and opportunities in teaching and r&d as well so first of all you have to know your main core subjects like analog electronics after that digital electronic basic electronics and control system microprocessor analog and digital communication VLSI etc If you want to do the job in telecommunication sector then you must study the subjects right which subjects you have to study telecommunication computer communication and networking internet technology mobile communication and microwave so these kind of subjects you have to prepare when you want to do the job right in this field so field for electronic and communication engineering are varied we are going to talk about these field first is the electronic circuit design so this field is electronic circuit design which is very popular then we have the signal processing field after that we have the wireless communication right the wireless communication also we have numerous opportunities then we have the optical communication field right which is now presently being researched upon then we have robotics we all know about the robots right then we have the embedded systems we are working with the embedded systems and the analog electronics also analog electronics contains the base of electronics then we have the digital electronics right then telecommunications power electronics these are the various fields apart from these basic fields we have consumer electronics as well then we have the solid state physics right in the solid state physics currently there is a lot of scope then we have the control systems right and at last we have vlsi which is the very large scale integration this electronic and communication engineering can be used in defense it is used in the nanotechnology field as well we have various mobile companies which are using the electronics and communication engineering concepts we have various companies which is which are working in the ec domain i am going to tell you some of the companies which are very famous first is the texas instrument then we have intel Intel is a very famous company I hope you all must have heard its name Then we have AMD then Cisco Cisco is again a very popular company We have then IBM IBM is again very popular and then we have Samsung Electronics Samsung okay all of you must have seen the mobile phones by Samsung Then we have Sony right after that we have Toshiba right so toshiba is again a very important company based in japan right then we have the philips semiconductors and nokia right so nokia also you must have seen various phones from nokia then we have nvidia nvidia is for the processors it is it is famous for the pro processors then we have hp i hope you all have heard about hp in the laptops then we have lg electronics coming to the salary again salary contains a wide interest of the student what is the salary that i will get when the when the student comes to the ec field the first thing that comes into the mind of electronics student is that how much i can earn from the job salaries will differ on the basis of companies which you are getting placed in right there are big mncs like texas instrument Texas Instruments are offering a higher salary in the range of lakhs per month, right? So we have various Indian companies also which will uh, offer the salaries in the range of thirty thousand to one lakh or eighty thousand per month. 
If you are getting placed in US or Europe, the salaries are in range of $2,500 to $5,000 per month based upon your talent, your experience, uh, the salary can vary of course, right? Now the students are curious what are the various job titles which I will have to role play when I will go in the companies. First is the service engineer. Right. So service engineer, apart from that, we have the software analyst, then we have the technical director. Technical director is again a very amazing post and then we have the field test engineer. Then we have the senior sales manager, then we have the network planning engineer. Right. After that, the EC student can also work as a customer support engineer. Right. So we have various fields and we have various posts. We have the post of electronics and communication consultant. So you can work as an electronics and communication consultant. You can work as a research and development software engineer. You can work in the R&D sector also when you are from EC domain. So we have various factors which are favoring the scenario of EC. We are now going to talk about these factors. First is the growing convergence between hardware and software. This is something that is electronics engineer have an edge in when compared to the computer graduates. You can easily integrate hardware and software and this is the era for that. Then we have growing product companies in India. Once we have product companies, we are having emergence in the electronic engineers which are in demand. You will be in demand, be it design, comprehensive testing and many other things. Next is the open source. One of the best thing that is happening under current situation is the open source community. When you have a great community to learn from and you have a great community to participate in learning become enjoyable. Like you are watching this video, you are learning something and it becomes fast also on the internet. You don't have to go to a top rated university to learn and to build a prototype of your product. You can learn anything at your home with the help of YouTube also. Now with the increasing open source and the learning community online, the learning cost has also reduced, which is again an important factor for the students in India. And also we have a hands-on experience on whatever little project products you are developing. If you have hands-on experience on the products, it is very important in, and it is also progressive. Right? When you will go to the job interview, it will be benefiting you. The job opportunities for an electronics and communication engineer in the government sector are also important to list over here. Right? I must tell you what are the various opportunities in the government sector also. An EC student can apply for Indian Engineering Service. That is the IES. It provides the top class job in government administration and within 6 to 7 years of experience, an individual can reach a good position very easily. One can go also for the Indian Railway Sector jobs as it provides many benefits. For this, it is necessary to qualify the special class railway apprentice exam or the railway recruitment board exam, that is RRB exam. You must have heard about it. And we have other railway entrance examinations as well. A person can also go to the various central PSUs. So we have various PSUs like Bale, which is in the field of VLSI and embedded systems, right? After BEL, we have HAL, which is working in embedded systems. Then we have ECIL, which is working in the PCB design, which is a printed circuit board designing. Then we have AAI, the Airport Authority of India, which is working in the radars and antennas. So if you have interest in the radar, antennas, EM waves, you must try this one. Then we have BSNL and MTNL which is working in the IT networking and security and also in the telecom. Then we have the power grid and retail. It is working also in the IT networking and also in the security. Then we have NTPC, which
which is working in the managerial positions. Then we have PPCL, IOCL, ONGC, then we have HPCL and the GATE. We have various managerial positions over here. Then we have PHEL, which is working in the embedded system and also in the IT. Then we have BDL, which is working in the embedded system, very large scale integration and at last automation. Then we have SAIL, CIL, NDMC and where we have the managerial positions. And in NPCIL also we have managerial position. We have various other central government jobs also for the electronics and communication engineer. So the central government jobs contain the job of ISRO. ISRO will be having the VLSI our work, IT work, in the IT work we have broadly the networking work and then we have the radar working, right? Then we have the defense research organization, right? So we have DRDO, which is working in the embedded system, VLSI and at last automation. Then we have the BABA Atomic Research Center, which is working in the field of nanotechnology, BARC. Then we have the NEELIT. NEELIT is working in the field of information security, VLSI and also in the field of auditing. Then we have BIS working in the auditing field. We have Prasar Bharti working in the telecommunication. We have the engineering services, the managerial positions. Then we have DGQA which is working in the auditing, CEERI Pilani which are working in the VLSI and microwave. Both of them, CERI and Pilani working in these VLSI field. Then we have Samir, S-A-M-E-E-R, which is working in VLSI and microwave. Then we have the Raw Cabinet Secretary. So Raw Cabinet Secretary is working in the field of cryptography. Right? If you have interest there, you can look out for this. Then we have NAL-CSIO, which is the CSIR lab, basically for research, right? So if you have interest in research, you can look out for this. When you choose for the jobs through GATE, there are one of the best job in the country which a person wants. These are the best of the jobs that you can get, right? And you will be getting better, surely better than the IT jobs when you are going to any job with the GATE. When you choose to uh, go for the higher studies. So when you are choosing a job through GATE, it is better, obviously better. And when you are choosing a higher studies, there will be always an option for you to become a member of the R&D team, the research and the development team of some good companies. Also, you can do your PhD. And finally, you can do a job in the company or become a part of one of the best profession of the world. You can become a professor and also you can train other engineers to give something to this world, right? Now you can at least bring happiness to you from inside and now you are doing something good being an electronics and communication engineer. I hope you are all of the doubts about the EC domain are cleared. You now got to know what are the scope and opportunities in various MNCs, various companies, private companies and government sector and R&D also. So let's meet soon in some next session. Bye-bye.